Joined now by Orioles Executive Vice President and General Manager Mike Elias after making the number one overall pick in Jackson Holiday. And Mike, first question for you. You like to keep things close to the vest, but at what point today did you decide that Jackson Holiday was going to be the pick? Well, we decided that he was our favorite player uh, a good bit ago today, but the way that the uh, business part of the draft shakes out, it's often not a certainty who you're actually selecting until seconds before the pick is due. Um, and, um, you know, I'm just very happy that it went to plan. Um, we got the player that we really wanted with this pick. Um, he's going to be an outstanding addition to what is already an excellent farm system and a, and a uh, thriving organization. And, um, you know, he's a five tool left handed hitting shortstop um, with a great head on his shoulders. And I think he's got a chance to be a big star. You went with college players each of your last three top five picks, and you go with a high schooler here. Obviously, this class was a little bit more high school heavy at the top, but was there any amount of trepidation in going with a high school hitter, or do you just felt like he was the best talent? No, it's a very special group of high school hitters this year, um, so it appeared very likely to us that we would be uh, uh, selecting a high school hitter this year just because of uh, what, what the draft was available uh, this year. And, um, you know, I, I've said before, um, we have, I think, a very strong track record um, of drafting high school hitters both uh, our last few years here with the Orioles. Um, the, some of the Orioles picks before I got here was a lot of the scouts that are still here. And then um, the drafts that I, I ran and helped run in, in, in Houston. Um, so we liked a lot of the players in this group and Jackson's one that checks a lot of scouting boxes for us with, a, um, as I said, all five tools being above average, meaning he can run, throw, defend, hit for power and hit for average, but he's got a, a great physique. Um, he's got a great swing mechanics. He's got a very discerning eye. Um, there's n really no hole that I could poke in his game at this point in time, and so that's why he was the number one pick for us. And you said that you believe he can stick at shortstop as well going forward. Obviously, it's tough with an 18-year-old kid, but why do you think he has the defensive tools to stick there? Well, he's a, a plus runner. Um, he runs above average for um, major league speed scale down the line, and you see that speed translate uh, on in terms of his athletic movements at shortstop. So we think he's going to have the range for the position. He's also got an above average arm, and he can throw from different arm slots, which is important. He's got a real technically correct throwing stroke. His throwing mechanics are sound, um, and he's got a real simple way of uh, catching the ball and approaching ground balls, um, and we think he does things the right way. I mean, certainly he's going to uh, require refinement and repetitions in the minor leagues, but I don't see any reason why he won't stay at shortstop unless his body um, grows so much, and if that happens, he's going to have other options, be it third base or, or whatever, but I, I don't, we don't envision that scenario. Um, we think he's going to play shortstop for the next decade, if not longer. And obviously, we're a ways away from any of these guys signing or coming to terms with any agreement. But you're back on the clock at 33. Do you feel like, with the player that you selected, that you left yourself a good amount of your enormous draft pool to be able to make some selections later on and potentially sign some guys over slot? Yeah, we're certainly not going to uh, be limited. And so we'll be able to attack the board uh, with the best players that, that, that we can. And, um, you know, we got a big night of work ahead of, ahead of us. As you mentioned, we're picking 33rd, then right again at 42. And then we got a pick in the 60s. So uh, it's a big night for the organization. Busy night ahead. We'll let you get out of here. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Paul.